the most important thing is education for each and every person. So, Kez, what would you recommend that yeah people go 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 do now? I would recommend that you challenge if you are feeling if you are per- or a white person and you are feeling in any way attacked or you're feeling any weird feelings, you need to challenge those feelings. Do you know what I mean? Why is that? Then obviously you need to read, read, read. Because I've read so many books on race and racism and books by black authors that have helped me. And it's not because... I need to understand racism because I fully understand racism because I've experienced it. It's it's to give me the information and language to be able to explain it to white people. Um, so if if a white person was to go and read these books, that would take a huge burden off the black community. So go and educate yourselves. And should should I read out some books or? Um, yeah, just, give, just give like a couple. Like right, just give a couple so people. So definitely read "Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People" by um about race by Rennie Edel Lodge. That should be that should be number one on your list, in my opinion. Then I would go for um Akala Natives, um another great example, exactly, and also British. Um, God, there's so many. Um, for a woman, I would say for women, slay in your lane. Um, is a good one. Then um, I think you mentioned it yesterday, Jace. Americana for for like a fiction for a fictional perspective, which is like genuinely like I've learned so much from fiction books. Like, don't sleep on that situation. Do you know what I mean? I've actually recommended that book um, in, the, in one of our previous podcasts, but that actually fits in perfectly in this episode as well. Um, anything by Andrea Levy. James Baldwin, um, Trevor Noah's Born a Crime. Very interesting that book because that was the first time I kind of really understood the situation in South Africa and how, yeah, that's very interesting. Um, yeah, anything by Zadie Smith, Their Eyes Are Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. Um, yeah, we'll definitely have a reading list. You can add, yeah, 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 that's all. Yeah, we'll, we'll make a list with some of the suggestions, well, with all the suggestions. So another thing then, like for people who might not prefer to read, is there any other platforms or mediums that you yeah, can Yeah, if you want to follow some people, follow Rachel Cargill, Erica Hart, Munro Bergdorf, um, Akala as well. Uh, God, there's so many people. But yeah, I can put a list together of those people as well. Um, then there are some... Even like, I feel like it's important to mention some white women to follow. If, because, like, genuinely, it seems that when a white person says something, white people listen more. So, some good white women to follow at the moment Florence Given. She's, um, she's, yeah, I'm appreciating her right now. Um, someone called Das Penman. She made a lot of the really cool, um graphics that I've been sharing that kind of de- deconstruct what it is to be an ally and like um non-performative racism and blah 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 um I'm following a very cool um therapist um POC therapist uh I'm Sierra Root I'll put her um tag in there as well she's posting some very shareable Content, yeah. So there's there's loads of people you can educate if you don't fancy read it. And then there's movies like like anything Ava Devani, the Thirteenth, where you learn that slavery actually wasn't abolished in the US. It's just the prison system. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's like slavery's like it, it's once you really like obviously for for Brit- for us being British, it's very important to read like um black British authors like Zadie Smith and Akala and Rennie Edo Lodge. But when you actually start learning about how fucked America is, people need to know that. People need to know that slavery hasn't been, like, people need to know about the prison system in the US. Like, that is hugely important. Um, Watch Dear White People as well. That's on Netflix. Um, And the TV show. Watch, go and watch some... Go and find some, like, I'm not asking you to go and watch, like, loads of Tyler Perry movies. Go and watch some media that's created by black people, like Issa Rae, Insecure. 
to get a different perspective. Do you know what I mean? You're not just watching the same stuff made by the same people that are given the same opportunities. Um, so, yeah, follow Issa Rae. Amanda Seals is also such a boss. Um, she's got a fantastic podcast called Small Doses. Um, yeah, she deconstructs a lot of race stuff. Um, if you don't know who Amanda Seals was, she's the one who, um, as she puts it, gathered Caitlyn Jenner up like a ponytail um, and like gave it to her if you saw that video. So, yeah, there's there's lots of... Uh, yeah, I'll put this list together. It's going to be great. 